<laughs> Hola. <laughs> My wife don't want to talk. <laughs> Hello. I, I'm so glad to be here. And nice to meet you, everybody. <laughs> and uh, venimos. We came. Del Estado de México. From the state of Mexico, is close to Mexico City. And the name is Tultepec. And the name is Tultepec, Estado de México. Um, this place is very, very um, difficult. This is very hard uh, place to be. Hay mucha um, brujería. Too much witchcraft. Adoración a la muerte. They adore to the dead. Y uh, violencia. Too much violence. Hace tres días atrás. Three days ago. Nos dijeron que al tío de mi, de Mario, de mi uh, yerno. yerno. Three days ago, Mario. Um, and my daughter, Carlos, because they raped his uncle and they kidnapped his uncle. And two days later, they found dead. Uh -huh. Esto fue a una hora de, de distancia donde vivimos. This one hour distance from we are. Ahí tenemos, vamos a cumplir tres años en enero. We almost celebrate this coming January third anniversary. Y Dios nos ha impulsado, nos ha motivado a estar orando y ayunando. And God led us to pray in fasting uh, to confront the darkness. Ha habido liberaciones, jovencitas, una jovencita que llegó el primer año de 14 años. Uh, we see a lot of deliverance scenes there, and one young girl, 14 years old. Poseída por un demonio de, por adorar a la muerte. She was possessed for the one demon who, because she adored the dead. Dios la libertó. And God delivers her. She is free now. And she is free. <laughs> Y, y así hemos tenido otros casos. And we have too many cases like that. En, en donde estamos, um, antes de que la iglesia fuera construida en ese lugar. Before they cons uh, construct uh, the church in that place. Era puro terreno, baldío. There's an empty lens. Y ahí bajaban brujas volando, mujeres Brujas volando. And I don't know if you believe that, but on this land, the witchcrafts flying and landing over there. Es cierto eso. This is very true. Alguna gente de la iglesia lo ha visto. Some people in our churches, they see it. Y nosotros hemos ido a orar por la gente en sus casas, porque esto pasa en sus casas. And they call us to pray to their houses because they, this happened in, they, in their houses. Y les estamos enseñando a guerrear. And we're teaching how, how we fight against it. Uh -huh. Porque la lucha que tenemos no es contra carne ni sangre. Because our fighting is no against the flesh and the blood. En, y es en contra de todas las huestes de maldad. It's against the, all the forces of darkness. Les estamos, les estoy enseñando yo los miércoles. I'm teaching all, every Wednesdays. Quienes son los principados, las potestades, los gobernadores y las huestes. All the Ephesians chapter 6, 9 tell us how's the battle against them. Al principio preguntábamos, ¿por qué nosotros nos mandas ahí, Señor? When God sent us to, de, uh, to there, we ask God, why you choose us and send us there? Y ahora entendemos por qué. Porque ahí especialmente. 
And now we understand why, because in that place specifically. La lucha es contra las tinieblas y está muy, muy fuerte. It's because it's very strong, the fighting against the darkness. Y rápido les digo, luego tendré tiempo de, de platicar mi testimonio, pero Dios de ahí me sacó. Uh, maybe one day I have time to testify how God deliverance her from the witchcraft. Mi familia practicaba la brujería, el espiritismo. My family was involved in, in witchcraft and, and all kind of darkness stuff. Y mi abuelo desde que yo tenía tres años me dedicó para, para que yo sirviera las tinieblas. And my grandfather dedicated me to be a, a leader from the forces of darkness. Y ahora por eso entendemos por qué Dios nos mandó a ese lugar. And when God saved me, why, now we understand why Jesus sent us to that place. Porque la gente tiene que saber contra quién pelea. The people need to know who is your enemy. Y bueno, ya no voy a tomar más tiempo. Dios los bendiga. Después Vamos a tener tiempo para testificar. I love you. I don't want to take too much time. Next time I, I preach. <laughs> She's a preacher too. Yep. And we so surprised how God works. I never met the pastor. I never see Don Gary. I never see nobody in the church. I love this young man and this other guy and Christopher and the whole team who came to Reynosa. Christopher said a little bit about it. Two weeks b before they got to Reynosa, my son, who lives in Cartage, works for the Continental Tires. A company, and he visited Don Gary to offer the, the his tires, and he started talking. Don Gary, hey, just love man, and and my son says, yeah, I just loves you too, and he started to talking about it, and I said, my dad is is a pastor, and he's a missionary in, in Mexico, and they say, okay, do you want to know him? Say, hey, let me know him, and we have video call. And we started talking about it, and I say, in two weeks we go to Reynosa. Do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, I want to go. Amen. And God gave us a wonderful connection. Amen. We see a lot of people save deliverance in Reynosa. Amen. Too much uh, difficult when you see the cartel rap the little girls. In that place were dangerous when we went there. We feel very bad presence of the devil, and and we need to move quickly from from that place because God advertised us to move because we're in dangers. But we we went to the orphanage. We went to the very difficult uh, uh, people, no houses. And we we enjoy. We we did this for almost 31 years. Uh, when, when God called us to be a pastors uh, 31 years ago. And now we're still working, and this is why I want, I want to share with you today about one man uh, caught my attention in Joshua chapter 14, verse 6 through 13. And that guy is, is, is one of my heroes. It's not Superman or, or Iron Man. When you see the Bible, you see the people, real, real people, to confront the enemy and defeat them by the power of the Holy Spirit. This is why I want to share with you tonight. And, and it's my privilege, thank you, Pastor, to trust in me and, and let me use your pulpit. And, and know this wonderful people, wonderful church. Uh, I never imagined after two weeks 
And after two days working almost 24 hours a day in Reynosa, <laughs> oh man, your pastor is very strong, man. <laughs> Man, uh, and Christopher played the guitar like almost 10, 12 hours. And I will play with him too. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the field, you never know the Holy Spirit that gives us power. Amen. And we don't see nothing 12 hours, working 24 hours. But when you're done, you say that. Uh, <laughs> I need a Cancun. <laughs> uh, but it's a wonderful experience for me. And um, when you find Joshua chapter 14, verse 6 through, th through, through 13, I want to you help me and everybody read together 6 through 13 slow. No go too fast. When we, you see the comma, stop. Take a breath. Continue. When you see the uh, period, stop and go forward. Okay? Can you help me? Okay. Let's do that. Verse 6. Then the people of Judah came to the Joshua at Gigel. And Caleb, the son. I don't hear you. I said, you help me to read. Okay. Okay, let's start again. We have time tonight. A 10. I promise to everybody get up from here. What version of the Bible are you in, Pastor? Is it the uh, New King James or King James? Or? Um, S E V. S. ESV. ESV. Okay. ESV. Lane, won't you try and find that, buddy? ESV. ESV. Okay, we got it on our phones now. ESV. Yeah, I'm done now from. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna partner up with you now. Well, I've... got it. Joshua six in the ESV. Yes, sir. If you have different version, don't matter. Read it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go together. Verse 6. Yeah, now. Yeah, thank you. Everybody read over there, and I read over there. I'm over here. Okay. Chapter 14. Chapter 14, verse, verse six. 6. Chapter 14, verse 6. This. Yeah. That lane, he's a genius. Yeah. Let's go. Then the people of Judah came to Joshua and Gilgal. And Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, the Kisinate, said to him, You know what the Lord says to Moses, the man of God, in Kadesh Barnea, concerning you and me. Verse 7. I was 40 years old when Moses, the servant of God, sent me from Calisburne to spy out the land. And I brought him word again as it was. But my brothers who went up with me made the heart of the people melt. Yet I worry follow the Lord my God. Verse 9. And Moses heard of that day, saying, Certainly the land of which you fell. Verse 10. Verse 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
verse 13. Thanks. Let's pray. Father God, thank you for your word. Thank you for this beautiful opportunity we be in your presence. Holy Spirit, speak to us. Let us continue to conquer this land. Let us to continue to be in your presence to win every battle. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Uh, all day I'm very nervous about coming today because I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I know now I feel like in, in home now. <laughs> After we praise and worship, <laughs> I feel now in home. Praise the Lord. And I forget my, my memory stick, and I for, almost forget my, my, my Bible, electronic Bible, almost forget everything. And, and I said to my wife, I don't know why. I'm, I'm very excited to, to stay with my brothers and, and share this word. God put in my heart, and, and the title today is, is, is in the verse 12. So now give me these Hill country. Everybody say now. now. Today, I know God has a promise for me. And I take it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let me share with you how the Caleb, Caleb was 40 years old when God delivered him from the Egypt. Okay? Now, I don't know how many years do you have. I heard the testimonies now, and I see the people baptized in water. Now they are free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. No more slaves, no more. It's time to get up because we have a promise. We need to reach the promised land. We need to reach our promises. We need to reach our healthy. We need to reach our, 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 our everything God gave it to us. This is the time. Hallelujah. This is the time for me. This is the time for you. When I see what Caleb's means, name, and then I find the Caleb's name means bold. The people, God calls us to do something different. Because when they get out from, from the Egypt, everybody saw God's miracles. Ten big uh, miracles in, in, in Egypt. And they get out. And the first problem they have when they get free, this is the same problem we have when, when, when we baptize be careful, people. When we make the step of the miracle, the enemy is ready to do something against you. But we never be alone, somebody says. God is with us to give us the victory. Caleb get up and Joshua and everybody, almost more than two million people get out from the slave and the freedom of the desert. And the first miracle everybody knows uh, the Red Sea is be open. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible, uh, the Apostle Paul says, this is the baptizing for, for the people of Israel. Hallelujah. This is why, see the big miracle. Oh my God, when you see the, the Red Sea be open and everybody walking in, in, in dry sea. Hallelujah. And then, oh my God, you are living God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free now. Uh, oh my God, the people of God always have some problems. They see the miracle and they start to complain. 
Oh my God, is mighty God. I see the, how they open the Red Sea and they give us fried chicken from heaven. <laughs> they complain, we're hungry, God. No, don't worry. I have enough chicken in heaven. <laughs> Before they send chicken, they, he sent conflicts with honey, milk, wonderful manna from heaven. And they see miracles and miracles and miracles. Every day we see miracles and miracles and miracles. But still complain. Why, Lord? Why too much? Why this thing? Why we need to do this? Why we need to do that? Why, Lord? Why? Because he chose you to see a bigger Christian. God choose you to see it, to be like Caleb, like Joshua. Yes. And I love when they say they stab in Cardus Bornea. In that place, Moses chose 12 people to send to recognize the promised land, Jericho. And they went there. And I said, wow, my God, you see these houses? Wow, do you see the fruit? Do you see everything here is wonderful? And God give it to us if we believe in him. Amen. Problem, the problem now is people still fail less. As the pastor said, we need, everything is in faith. Romans chapter 9, everything is in faith. Because with no faith you can be placed, God. Well, they sent 12 people. And they come back. Wow, Moses, see the fruit. This fruit like watermelon. <laughs> There's a grape. It's not watermelon. It's the grapes. And 12 people said, Moses, this is a wonderful land. Hallelujah. Let's take it. Let's go do it. Only two say, yes, I believe in the God promise. The giants there. What's your giant's name? What's your giant's name? We need to defeat it tonight. Stop see the giant. See the power of God. Stop see the giant. See the mercy of God. Stop see the giant. See the grace of God. Start see the you giant, see the miracle against them. And then, this is very interesting. Ten people, influences, and almost 12 million people to say, no Moses, can't take it. Har, giants there. We don't do that. Let's go back to Egypt. Moses says, do you, do, do you think so? He says, yes. But praise God for people. What's the name of the, country, of the town here? We see people wide up. <laughs> like Caleb and Joseph. Joshua. Hey, Moses, don't pay attention to these bad people. They don't know. They don't know our God. Our God is greater. Our God is healer. Our God is mighty God. Hallelujah. And Moses said, okay. Two against ten. The majority says no. But only two believe in them. And they too influences to the say, Why Moses take us to, to the liberty and promises to the uh, Jericho on the promised land, and we have too much problems. See what the, the slaves' minds they have. Yes. Yes. We don't have enough uh, cemeteries in the desert for us. My God, they're thinking in, in cemeteries. And God says, I keep you to the promised land. Forget about the cemeteries. You live in the, in the promised land. Amen. 
But that people say no. Can do that. And then I want to tell you the Bible have 3,565 promises for us. Amen. It's the only one, the promised land. He has 3,565 promises for us. This is why the, the, the people of God now, we're walking in the desert, yes. And we don't go to the Jericho. We go to heaven, hallelujah. We almost early, the trumpet was sound. <coughs> <coughs> And everybody who has faith is ready to go to heaven. Amen. It's not sometimes heaven. Oh, my God. Almost 2,000 years ago, Jesus says, yeah, I take it with me. Don't worry. Don't be fear. fear. I'm with you. Let's go. Uh, I'm going to heaven, and I prepare for a place for you. But I send you somebody to help you. It's not Caleb. It's not Joshua, it's not Jesus, it's the Holy Spirit. Yes. Holy Spirit live in us. Yes. It's wonderful to continue to work. And I, and I learned a lot from Caleb. Caleb tells Joshua, hey, when I was 40, Jesus tell me, go to see the promised land. And I give it to you. And, and, and Caleb tell Joshua, 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 I'm 85 now. And I feel the same like that I was 40. Because the God is with me. <laughs> I don't have any fear again. The giant, I'm 85 years old. And I go to conquer the promised land because Jesus said this and I get it in the name of Jesus. Do you know that the, 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 the land is, the name is, um, let me remind, I forget the name all the time. I forget it in, in, in English. Hey, but, uh, este, eh? Okay, I, I'm, okay, I, I voy en español en el nombre de Cristo. <laughs> Hebron. Hebron, the hill mountain Hebron. And Hebron means communion. Communion. If somebody had communion with the blood of Jesus and the body of Jesus, you're powerful. Yeah, because we not only, like Pastor said, we not only remember what he did, remember what he does now, and what he wants to do for me tomorrow. Hallelujah. This is why the Hebrew and the Caleb said, I want to continue in communion with God because he is my mighty God. He saved me for the desert. He saved me for the thirsty. He saved me for the hungry. And now I want this mountain. Hallelujah. This is why when we are a Christian and we start to walk in him, this is why when I met my wife, we never know. I never know he is the witchcraft problems. And I was a Christian. But I said, Lord, I like this girl. And the Lord said, take it. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I take it. <laughs> Laid it on. And I said, let's go to the church. He said, no. You go with your God, and I go with my God. I said, oh, my God. Who's your God? You never know. El pingo, el diablo, the devil. And, and, and there's a problem. Sometimes, which, praise God, I choose her, but later on, God helped me to save her. Amen. But sometimes, this is very funny. One day, she go to the witchcraft lady as her friend and partner. The devil has partners, too. And she went and said, hey, 
I need to, you help me to do something against my husband. And he says, yes, let's do it. And say, okay, come in. And they go into the room with the ball of crystal ball and cards and cigarette and all these things they did. it. And they took five times, 20 times, 30, 30 minutes. And my wife says, what happened? Too long. Do something now. I want to take my husband and mine and his niece. And say, okay. Say, what happened? I can do nothing against your husband. Say, why? He said, because something powerful. Don't let me go in. Don't let me touch him. Because something more powerful for me cover him. This is the blood of Jesus, the communion, the hero is with us, the mighty God. Hallelujah. And then my wife says, mm, man. I want that power. She said, I want that power. And I said, yes, Lord, take it. And later on, one day, we had some problems. We are most divorced. And the Lord has the different plans. And I went to my parents' house. I said, Daddy, I need to pray. I need to reconciliated with God in my heart because I make sense and, and too much problems. And, and when my wife is with me, she never wants to come with my parents because my dad always has a big Catholic Bible <laughs> because she thinks he's Catholic. And, and with the big virgin pictures and the, and the pub and, and my wife says, you, that is crazy because I'm not Catholic and I don't like your mama. <laughs> My God. I said, what? I don't like your mama. Why? Because she always pray for me and I don't know what kind of language she pray. She, because she always prays in tongues. Yeah. And, and she feels that like, ah! <laughs> I don't want to see your mom and your daddy no more. <laughs> For years, she don't step in my house because she feels the power of God. And now that day, she's with me. And she sat down over there, and I'm over here with my parents. Pray for me. We crying. Everybody pray. And my mom is speaking tongues and tongues. <laughs> and my wife over there, like... I don't know what's, what I'm doing in here. I want to run away. Yeah. <laughs> in, in, in one, for one time, I tell, like, like Caleb, tell Joshua, this is very important that you come with the right people, the positive people, the spiritual people. When you see two giants talking about Jesus, hallelujah, and talking about his promises, and Joshua and Caleb says, you know what, Joshua, I'm 85, but I'm, my God is the same God when I was 40. And he strong me, and he made me feel better, and I get the hill in the name of Jesus. And I tell my wife, come over here and pray with us. And say, okay, I'm go. And look. She says, I feel something. Take me here. <laughs> because she said, I don't want you. But God has the plan. You don't want it, but you stay in the holy place. <laughs> and then we start to pray and pray. And she says, she's like that. And suddenly she saw the, the 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 ceiling in my house is the concrete open and the lighting come from heaven and go into her and put him down 
that day, she said, I don't know what happened, but I feel something dark get out from my. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit. And next day, she went to the church for the first time. And when we, the, she went to the church, they passed the movie, The Hell. If you do not repent yourself, you go to the hell. And she's like, oh, my God, I, I, I do do that. And, and when the, the movie is finished, they say, who wants to receive Christ? And she said, I run to the heart. I don't want to go to the hell. I want to go to heaven with Jesus. Hallelujah. This is why we start to believe in deliverance. When I see this team in Reynosa, I says, wow, this is my team. Because I know the devil. He tried to kill me different times. I'm sleeping, and one time he tried to chuck me like, I, I, God help me. And he started to sweating and sweating, and I rebuked then, and I rebuked. And, 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 and he, he's very strong, devil. Do you think he's a tiny one? No. Man. And I rebuked then, and after like five minutes, God gave me the victory. And we see one man in, in, in Houston, Texas. They invite us to, to preach in the revival. And after the revival, the pastor called me and said, Pastor, I need your help. Come with me because I have somebody sick at home. And my wife said, go with him. Pray, pray with the sickness people and come back and say, okay. When we went to this house, Pastor, the sick young man sat down in his bed and have the big music like <laughs> and I tell the pastor he, he, he's not sick he said let's pray take the music off and he put the current music off when they take the music off the young man turned around and saved me, and he already cut all the the vents, and the blood is coming, and he uh, still take the blood. All the face is blood, and say, this is the sick young man. <laughs> yes, and I tell the pastor, okay, let's pray, and he said, pray you close to him. <laughs> oh my God, because some I'm sorry, I respect the pastors. But some, some, they don't believe in deliverance. And, and he told me, go first. And I'm going. And I'm close to the young man. I say, in the name of Jesus. When I say, in the name of Jesus, this young man crossed the wall. Praise God, this is the sheer rock. Because in Mexico, I don't, I don't know what happened. <laughs> This rock, they crossed them. And I said, My God. The giants is in Hebron and the Jericho. This is why the, the people of Israel has fear. And they prefer to die in the desert to fight it. I want to say something today. Somebody here needs to understand. Your time in the desert is over. Amen. We, God never deliver us to stay in the desert. No way. God maker, the new way. Jesus says, John 14, 16, he is the way. The tr we know that. But sometimes it's hard to follow him. Like he wanted. Amen. And Caleb started to work, started to move on into the promised land. And 
Caleb was the man with fearless. No fear. Caleb teaches how we need to stand before God to conquer everything in our lives. Now we see too many uh, houses, too many people still suffer because the devil is still working against them. But Caleb, Caleb was the decided man. Caleb was the strong man. Caleb has the faith man because he know the mighty God in the desert. And with these ten people, listen. These ten people influences about two million people, and they be guilty to Moses. Do not go into the land. God said, Moses, Moses, I'm sorry for you. You listen to that people. You do not go into the promised land. But I take you. Praise God. Moses suffered 40 years with one church with 2 million people. <laughs> Pastor. And they complain for everything. Praise God, it was in, in the desert. It's not in Texas. <laughs> Hallelujah. And Moses sometimes says, Lord, sorry, take your people with you. And they start to, Moses complain against his church. I don't know if sometimes complain or not. But me, sometimes complain. Sorry. We have some beautiful people, but they too much trouble. But the Holy Spirit helps us. One time, one time I say, Lord, I want to quit to be a pastor. When I was 20 years pastor, I, I say, Lord, I want to quit. Why did you call me to be a pastor? Made me evangelist missionary, something different. Because we had too much problems with my oldest kids. The people from Israel in the desert complain against my son and my daughter. They think the kids' pastors is the holy kids. They think, but they're wrong. And I always say, Pastor, this was your kid. This was your daughter. By that time, I don't have enough knowledge to carry these problems. And I say, Son, I see you at home. Daughter, I see you at home. This was my big mistake. To hear the people of Israel and do not hear my family. Did you remember when Moses was in the mountain of Sinai? 40 days there. And his brother Aaron down. And all the people say, Aaron, Moses, maybe is died. He passed away over there. We don't know. We need to adore someone. Make us in one idol. And they make the big cave. Okay. Listen. Why people give gold and money and everything to adore different God? Praise God, their church is wonderful. Church, they can pray for everything. <laughs> They send you pastor to the missionary in, in, in Reynosa and some people. This, this is the, the, the great commission. This is the great commission. But when Caleb, they start to work with them. And, and, and let me go back a little bit. <clears throat> and then Moses and God start in the mountain and say, God tell Moses, Moses, you need to get back now. Because my people... It's crazy now. 
And he said, okay, I'll go down. Moses came in the glory of God with the uh, tables, no? the, with the word of God in, in his hands. And they said, why did you turn your, your life again to the Egypt gods? Why? He said, because you take too much time in the God presence. I hear Pastor next next year fasting for three weeks. Why they don't fasting now? When I call fasting in our church too, in Mexico, one lady said, Pastor, can I fasting with coffee and donuts? Because I need sugar in the morning. Well, Pastor teaches now. You dead now. You, you, you must dead. You live for God. Right. No in the flesh. You in the spirit. Yeah. But the flesh want coffee and donuts. And the spirit want the, the fasting. This is why Caleb take the victory. Because he be in the spirit. This is why jo Joshua says, God give us a promise, and I believe in him. Amen. Tonight, I understand there's beautiful people in here, but we need more faith. Amen. We need a faith to continue to reach all the people around uh, the Lombio and area in this town and everything. It's not easy. Don't complain no more. And don't don't more excuses like ten people from Israel. Oh, it's too it's too high, it's too difficult, or oh, it costs too much. No, Moses, no. Okay. For that way, all the generation come from older generation come from the, the Egypt, they die in the desert. But we are not people to stay in the desert. <laughs> We are people tonight to take the promises and go to heaven and reach all the people around us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We are capable, Caleb Spirit to continue to proclaim the gospel, not only in Texas. Praise God for you, Pastor. Have the vision for, for Mexico and other countries. This is great. But we need good people like you behind us to let us go and be a good testimonies like Caleb and Joshua. 85 years old and still fighting against the giants. And, ah, it's, the, it's the model. All right. This is why when you come with people very positive, let me close with this. Paul and Silas has the friends Apostle Paul. And, and the people took him to the jail. Remember that? Yes. Uh, they're in the jail. And, uh, and the partner of, of Paul said, what we need to do now? We're in jail, Paul. And Paul said, don't worry, God is with us. Yes. Say, so, what? We're in jail. D don't worry. What we need to do? And say, let's sing. Sing? In jail? No! Let's, let's find a better lawyer in town <laughs> to take us out. Because we don't do nothing. They put us in jail only to preach that Jesus is resurrected at the third day and he's alive. He's coming back for us. He said, don't worry. Let's sing. When you find somebody to encourage you in the very best moments. And Paul says, let's pray. Let, let's sing. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. Oh. <laughs> God. 
when we when they start to sing listen listen church tonight when they start to sing the doors be open no only one door the all the doors be open tonight you need to see the door be open for you don't worry about your problem you need don't worry about nothing see to the Lord then the doors be open in the name of Jesus hallelujah tonight is your time you need to get out from the desert you need to go for the slave mind no more we have, we have conquered minds the church is the lighting in the middle of the darkness. The church to continue to reach all these wonderful people. Amen. And tonight, I want to pray for you, me and my wife. And, I know, and only these young men who crossed the wall, Next day, he came to the church. When he came to the church, I tell uh, the deacons, when he, when he entered to the church, close the doors. Lock the doors. I don't want to him get up again. No, I want to him get up deliverance in the name of Jesus. And I tell my wife, you know why we have bad experience like now? This guy get out from the wall, and, and the fire department and the police department bring him back. And he, the pastor say, can we pray again? They go, if we pray again, he run away again. Let's do something different. Tomorrow, take it to the church and lock the door, like lock down when something happened in the school. And, and, and they obey us. And take the, the guy and come to the church, lock the door, and everybody in the church is just like, oh, my God, oh, my God. Ay, ay, ay. Say, don't worry. And my wife and I watching him and watching him and watching him. And suddenly my wife go around him and go in the back, and I'm the front. And I say, don't let go around this man now. He need to surrender to Jesus Christ, and the devil have to get off from him. And we pray for him and he deliverance in the name of Jesus. That day, God give us the victory. I don't know why you're dying. I don't want, know what's your problem tonight. But we are here. It's not the accident. It's not the coincidence. God has time. And I see some people sick physically. And some people sick spiritual. But tonight is your night. You need to take the Hebrew, the communion, hill, country is for you in the name of Jesus.